Back to basics folks, a good solid old G1 MicroMaster base. These are some of my favourite things in Transformers and it's always great fun getting them out of storage every so often. And fun is what we're here for, isn't it? Otherwise, what's the point? Money? Listen, I'd need a lot more subscribers than that if that was going to happen. So I actually, yeah, do like and subscribe. The Decepticons have some new ground-based anti-aircraft measures. That hothouse, he's been strutting around like he owns the place, you know? Time to take him down a peg. Fallen, burning, freewheeling through an endless diamond sky. The anti-aircraft base is a bit of a bad bastard, isn't it? Absolutely soaked in weaponry, piloted by these two mean mothers, Blackout and Space Shot. Let's look at them first, getting them out of their comfort zone. Both of these lads are fairly basic, as you'd expect from a 1990s MicroMaster, but they're quite different and quite charming too. Big Psykill and Copter energy, isn't there? Still, get these two transformed and yes, indeed, combine them into one vehicle. Isn't that great? I mean, they're pilots of an anti-aircraft base and they turn into aircraft themselves. You know, they turn into a B-1 bomber, but when you're desperate, you'll take anything, won't you? The tank mode's pretty versatile. It's got two turret cannons, a bazooka, a communications dish, a radar drum and a missile launcher. The main turret can spin around too. If only there was one more major gimmick to really push this over the edge. Aha! There is! The front of the tank can disconnect, becoming a scout vehicle. Attach the bazooka to that and send Space Shot out to the shops for, I don't know, a Twix. Start the transformation by taking the turret off, and then you're just folding out the back piece, then swinging out the other side 90 degrees. Flip out these legs to provide lift and support, and then plop the turret on top. And I'd just like to see any Autobot aircraft try and take the piss now. Okay, here he comes, lads. Get him! Ah, oh, that's right, I don't have the time or the budget or the inclination to add effects like that. Just, look, imagine a big green screen explosion that I ripped from YouTube, and it'll be, it'll be really funny. You're supposed to have a green ramp included with this, but I have no idea where mine is. So let's use the special one my pal Matt made for one of the Toy Foo streams a few years ago. There's a few ramp ports around the base too, meaning we can connect to other MicroMaster bases if we're so inclined. And if you've watched this channel for the last few years, you'll know that we 100% are. And now that we've nicked a ramp from the Skyhopper base, let's hide underneath the scout vehicle when getting everything back into the tank mode, nice and tidy. Hey. This is a great set, lots of accessories that store on or in the base, and some fun, if a little bit strange, MicroMasters. Combining MicroMasters are a cool idea, but the concept of swapping them with other robot teams leaves you with vehicles that are just awful. I mean, is that fair to say, the, that word, awful? Y yes, awful, but that's a small thing and certainly it doesn't impede the enjoyment of this set on its own. And that's the point, isn't it? Enjoying these 33-year-old toys in the modern day, a break from the stresses of life by returning to a simpler time when a tank could become an even worse killing machine. Okay, cheerio!